Hello again, this is Ty with Random Things here with another random project. So today's project is I'm going to review a couple of different cell phone mounts um, to attach to my Jupiter Defiant e-bike. I basically got three from Amazon. They're not sponsors. I just went online and found three that was basically $20 or less. And I want to see how they do um, under average use. Because let's face it, I'm not going to go wild and climb mountains. I just want to cruise around and I want to have my cell phone readily available, easy to use, be able to take pictures, videos, and use the maps. So what I have, I have the Vision Fa cell phone mount. I have the Home Easy. And I have the Skywing. So I'm gonna go and go through these three different cell phone mounts and uh, put it to the test. So please subscribe, like if you like, and then comment and let me know what you think. Um, and also comment on what you think I can do, what other things I can review to help you decide on what you need. Okay, we have the Vision Fa cell phone mount mounted. Um, let's go ahead and take this off real fast so that we can show you. So there's just a little screw that mounts it to this cup. So this is the mount, this is the back side of it. There's a lever, it says close, open. If you push the lever up to open, you can twist. So it comes in and out. So what I have here is I have um, a self, um, an iPhone 6s Plus. It doesn't matter what model phone it is. It's more of the, it's a plus. So that's the sizing for this demonstration. It is in a Spigen case. So it does have a lip. It's over the, uh, the phone and it's got a screen protector. It's not quite as thick as some of the other um, protectors out there, like an OtterBox. Um, so it does have, a, does have a thinner profile. It does seem to fit in here pretty easily and comfortably. There is space in here. Um, you have probably like maybe another millimeter, a couple millimeters. Um, and so you probably could put it um, with an OtterBox, but I don't have that, so I can't really demonstrate that. So you pull the lever up, lock it in place. Now the lever is plastic, so hopefully that will last. It seems a little flimsy, but eh. right now it's, it's okay. I shouldn't judge. It's, it's doing okay, even though it's plastic. Seem to grip it okay. Um, I do already see one issue, and that is, if you look at this bracket arm, it covers the lens of the camera. So, if I were to mount it, and I wanna set it up so that I can film forward, and maybe like take pictures and videos of my kids in front of me when I'm riding, um, that could be a problem. So I see that as an issue. Um, but in terms of putting it on, it seems pretty straightforward. That's it. So as you ride, maneuver it. Um, I guess you could take a selfie, but why? Um, seems to stay on there okay. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at the other ones now. Okay, next we have the. Uh, the Skywing mic bike phone mount. Okay. So 
so this is the uh, the mounting bracket, I guess. Okay. This is the uh, the holder. So this is one of those silicone styles where you kind of stretch it over the phone. And then uh, also in here, it's a little block. It's look like um, maybe put your phone in there when it's on your desk. So this is not, I think, a little thinner, two different thicknesses. That's a nice little accessory to put on your desk, I suppose. Um, it's not for the bike, but um, it's just a nice little side gift, I guess. Let's see what else is in here. Unsatisfied? Give them a chance. That's nice. That's a little nice touch of customer service. I haven't called. Don't really know how well they'll respond, but at least they give you a way to, I guess, comment. Um, and obviously they love to hear from you if you if you like it. Um, so if you do like it um, from this review, why not take a look, right? Okay, so again, this is the Skywing. We have the, uh, the base mounted. So this is the adapter. So again, this is the 6S Plus. So let's go ahead and put this, um, this silicone. net on it. Okay, so in terms of it going on, um, see a little bit of discoloration on the silicone? I don't know if that matters. Hopefully it's not weakening it, like overstretching it or something. Um, maybe I could pull this up a little bit. I don't, I don't love the fact that the home button is kind of partially covered because uh, I like to be able to use my thumbprint to open my phone. Um, but I guess you just slide that up. It's nice that it doesn't cover the lens, so um, you can shift that around a little bit. Now this one, um, it's a slide. And so once you get this mounted, all you do is kind of slide it in and it's kind of in there. You just kind of lock it in place. Now I like the convenience of being able to slide it out, access it, call somebody, take pictures, take selfies not but um but i did notice that uh given that it's kind of the silicone mount style it seemed to bounce around a little bit it's a little shaky even though the the main base isn't moving this part seems to be moving so when you're riding that could make me a little nervous. Okay, last one. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the uh, cell phone holder made by 
home easy? Home easy? So right out of the box, this feels nice. It's actually um, looks like aluminum or feels like aluminum. So it feels quite a bit sturdier. So I guess we, we open that up. Mounting kit, I guess. Yeah. Instructions. Looks like uh, mounting grips to go inside there. Some additional padding. Guessing you put this padding on these arms to maybe help it uh, not damage your phone, especially if you don't have a case on it. Okay. Looks like it's a uh, Allen wrench screw. Okay, let's put this bad boy on and see how it does. Okay, we have the uh, the home easy one mounted. Um, there's a little screw here. I think that you can take this base plate off if you wanted to. Um, I guess we don't need to. Kind of has a ratchet clicking, so you can a ratchet a ratchet set behind there allows you to rotate the orientation. Um, Got this type of arm to open and close it. So, what's nice is the back side of it is not covered, so that issue is resolved. This is the only one that does require an actual tool. And when I say tool, it's just an Allen wrench. Um, but you did see me drop it. So, the other two, you don't actually need tools. It's all, you can just do it by your hand. Um, not so, the, the, the rubber, or at least the... Uh, the under brackets that go inside this arm here, it's a, it's kind of a hard plastic as opposed to some kind of silicone at the end or rubber. Um, so even though I have it tightened down, um, it still seems to allow you to twist and slide. I don't know if I like that. Um, it is pretty on there. And it is aluminum, so that's nice. I'm not worried about like it whacking off if I hit it. Um, this part of it does seem a little loose. I don't know if that's just something I need to adjust. Let's see. Let's try adjusting it. Maybe that'll change the difference. Well, it's definitely tighter. It's still a little wobbly. I guess you kind of give that up based on convenience of 
being able to easily rotate if you want to. I'll show sure you why you want to. Um, I like that you have full access to the screen. There's nothing that covers it. Got the button. Um, you play with it while you're just sitting here. Um, there's no blockage here, so you can take four shots if you wanted to. Um, so that's nice. The only thing is, I'm not sure I like that bounciness. So if I was, if I was riding, and then taking a video, I don't know how wobbly that is. So we're gonna go through and take some actual videos of riding and uh, see how that quality is. In terms of it uh, holding. It's on there. I mean, I'm pulling on it pretty hard, and it's not coming out of the mount. So that part is nice. Um, okay, let's do a little road testing. Okay, so this is the road test component of the Home Easy cell phone mount. Um, one thing I I did do is I added the the rubber pieces on the claws. Um, the instruction does say that it can help with the vibration, so I go. I went ahead and mounted those. So let's see how that does in terms of helping with the vibration. For video mode. All right. Let's uh let's go for a little spin. Okay, so this is the vision file mounted. So let's go ahead and see the road test. Uh oh, recall the issue that we talked about earlier where the bracket arm covers the lens. Okay, I flipped the camera over so it's actually in selfie mode and then uh, turned it so that it's facing forward. So let's just take it for a spin and see how it does in terms of vibration. Okay, so this is the sky wing. Um, I didn't get to show this, but there's a little nut that allows you to adjust the rotation. Um, full disclosure, in the demonstration, I had a 6S Plus to show you if it would fit a big phone. But the actual phone that I own and use daily is a 8S. So it's not the Plus, it's the 8. It's a little smaller, and so that's what I'm filming this segment with. Okay, we've come to the end of the review process. Um, so a quick recap. So we looked at three different cell phone mounts for our bike. And um, the first one was the Vision Fa. The second one was the Skywing. And the third one was the Home Easy. Now, all three had their pluses and minuses. Um, starting with this one, the Vision Fa. Um, this was $14.99. It's probably the most um, rigid, if you want to call it that. Once I put the cell phone on here and locked it onto the handlebar, it was very secure and it didn't really bounce around, so that was nice. Um, what I didn't like 
um, was that the the bracket arm covered the lens and that prevented me from it going to a four shooting mode. Um, but all in all, still a nice mount. The next one was the, the Skywing. And what I really liked about this was the ease of removing it. So you have these quick release buttons, right? You squeeze it and you just slide it out. Um, and that's pretty convenient because then you can, if you get a phone call, you can pull it out, you know, answer your phone. Or if you want to pull it out and um, text, take some pictures, that was real nice. What I didn't like, or at least what I don't love, is the silicone grippy, how it secures it. Um, I just think it's a little bit wobbly. Um, but outside of that, it's a, it's a good mount. And this was only 10 bucks. It was $10.99 and you got like a dollar off coupon right now. Um, and the other real nice thing about this was once you get it mounted, the amount of adjustment, the angle adjustment, was quite a bit. So for example, once I get it uh, set, set up, I can be in a, say, a four shooting mode, all right? And then, if I'm not taking videos for shooting, I can rotate it so that when I'm riding a bike, it's easy for me to see the screen. So if I get a text message or if I'm looking at a map, that's real nice. The amount of movement was real nice. So again, for 10 bucks, well, I think maybe you can overlook the fact that this is a silicone grippy thing. And then lastly was uh, the Home Easy. Now this one was the all aluminum body, which I really like, because that made it really, really rugged. So you got whacked, um, if you dropped your bike, um, it wouldn't just snap off um, like some of these plastic ones over time. Um, so that was really nice. Um, what I don't like about this was, um, it doesn't have that type of rotation like this one does, all right? Or, or this one so once you once you got it locked in right once you got it cranked in um, that was it that was the angle you had so if you wanted to change the angle so you can see the phone while you're riding but then you want to change it so you can take a four shot you have to loosen this bolt um, now in earlier video you saw that I can I can force my way one of the thing, one of the adjustments I found in the goodie bag there was this piece of hard silicone that um, kind of goes underneath here at least I think that's what it's used for. And once I used that and I cranked in the bolt, it was pretty secure and you couldn't really rotate it anymore. And so that was nice that you can't rotate it, but then it's also not so nice because then in order to make adjustments while you ride, you couldn't do it on the fly. So that's probably the biggest negative. But all in all, it was very secure, very nice. And I do like the feel, the feel of it. Um, and this one was $14.89. Um, under 15 bucks so again all three of these are under $15 and that's that's pretty hard to beat um, they're all decent they all have their pluses and minuses and you'll have to decide what's important to you and what's less important to you um, and then you can choose and they're the basic styles um, there's hundreds of these on Amazon and you're like which one do I get Usually I just go with whatever's the cheapest, but, um, and this was the cheapest. But they, again, they all have a little bit of differences, um, and I hope that I chose three that gave you some idea of what the differences are to help you decide a little easier. So if you felt my, found my review helpful, please subscribe and like, and then hit the notification button so that you can see other reviews I do. Um, and again, Help me spread the word and share it if you felt that it was helpful. Um, and lastly, you know, I'm always um, willing to hear um, how I can be better. So leave comments and uh, let me know what you think. So with that, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.